All right guys, so fi finally flying the Wizard V2. For the first time, this is gonna be the Maiden. You're gonna see basically my reaction and how it flies. Uh, with really no changes in the setup other than what I did to bind it to the parts from the uh, Novice 4, the controller and the goggles, and that's about it. So let's see how this does. arm it so pretty much what I expected here got a pretty basic tune on it, nothing special, it's a little windy right now too, yeah, I'm sure in the GoPro footage it'll look just fine, but I can see a little bit in the DVR footage, that it's uh, a little wobbly, but hardly the worst ever, it's certainly not the best ever, but yeah, it's uh, And the stock rates on this are pretty high. You might want to reduce those if you're a beginner. They're okay. Hasn't blown up. This was the uh, first plug in and uh, I'm sure there's a lot of horror stories out there people buying the original wizard and it's basically uh, catching fire on the first flight it all kind of depends on how you fly it and crash it so Let's do a full throttle punch out here so you can hear what it sounds like Let's get closer so that was full throttle. It's got plenty of power, but uh, yeah, you're going to need uh, good batteries. This is an older battery. It's like a 1500 or 1554S, but it's got some cycles on it and it has a fair amount of voltage sag, but this is that's because this is fairly heavy with the GoPro and everything on there. If I, be, if, I was a, if I were you as a beginner, I would maybe even try and fly this on a 3S battery just so that you don't uh, have all that power available to you or just put a motor output limit on here. Um, I do have a video on that. If you want to ask me about that, let me know in the comments. But not bad for an out-of-the-box experience. Seems to be flying fine, hasn't crashed on me or done anything weird. Oh, it's uh, hard flying analog when you fly DJ all the time. You tend to not see things that you should be able to see. This tree here is hard to see in analog. Wow, there's a lot of battery sag there on that power loop. And that has to do with, well, I think it has to do with the weight. They, <laughs> they kind of went a little overboard and made this, I think, a little bit too heavy because they wanted to make it sort of crash proof for beginners. So it's very heavy for a typical 5 inch. Usually they don't run this heavy. I think that they put all that stuff on there, extra weight to make it a little bit more durable. You know, in the end, you know. It really depends on how you crash, where you crash. If you crash on this concrete, you crash enough times, hard enough, uh, things will break for sure. So, it just really depends. We're almost at the end of this battery. Yeah, there we go. Now we're at the end of the battery, 13.9. So pretty decent flight time for a 1550, an old one. 
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Bringing in for a landing.